Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a high stakes story that blends cutting edge technology, international politics, and billions of dollars. This is the tale of how Nvidia's super powerful AI chips banned from export to China may have found their way into Chinese hands anyway. What does it mean for Nvidia, for US-China relations, and most importantly, for the future of AI? Let's get into it. Nvidia, the undisputed leader in AI hardware, has found itself at the center of a geopolitical storm. The US government, under both Biden and Trump administrations, has imposed increasingly tight restrictions on the sale of advanced AI chips to China, citing national security concerns. These include bans on NVIDIA's most powerful GPUs, like the A100, H100A, and even customized models like the H800 and H20, which were specifically designed to comply with previous restrictions. But then came a twist. In January 2025, a Chinese AI company called DeepSeek shocked the world by releasing a family of large language models that rivaled OpenAI's GPT and Google's Gemini, and claimed they were trained using NVIDIA's H800 GPUs. Wait, how? Now, US lawmakers want answers. A bipartisan committee in the House, led by representatives John Mulinar and Raja Krishnamurthy, sent a formal letter to NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang. They're demanding details about chip sales routed through Singapore and whether these chips ended up in China despite the bans. DeepSeek's ability to develop cutting-edge AI models suggests that loopholes or indirect channels may still exist. The concern? That Chinese companies may be acquiring banned AI chips by routing them through third-party countries like Singapore or disguising end-users in purchase documents. Three men, including a Chinese national, were recently arrested in Singapore for allegedly falsifying NVIDIA chip shipment records. It's the kind of detail that raises big red flags. NVIDIA says it's following the rules. In a statement, they emphasize that the US government tells them what they can sell and where, and they follow those instructions to the letter. Our reported Singapore revenue indicates the billing address, often for subsidiaries of our US customers. The products are shipped to other locations, including the United States and Taiwan, not to China. Still, NVIDIA's own filings admit that most shipments associated with Singapore revenue were to locations other than Singapore. In late March, the US government dropped another bombshell, an updated ban on the H20, a chip that NVIDIA had specifically designed to meet the earlier export restrictions. The result? a stunning $5.5 billion hit to NVIDIA's financials. Just days later, CEO Jensen Huang flew to Beijing, not to protest, not to retaliate, but to continue doing business. He was invited by the China Council for the Promotion of International Trade, and he showed up smiling. Jensen Huang's visit to China is a big deal. Financial analysts like Nigel Green of the De Beer Group see it as a realist move, not defiance, but survival. This is a stark example of how the current US trade stance is pushing companies further toward China, not away from it. In other words, trying to isolate China may be backfiring, forcing companies like Nvidia to find creative ways to stay in the game or lose access to one of the largest and fastest growing AI markets in the world. China is the second largest spender on AI infrastructure, and despite US bans, its companies like Alibaba, Tencent, and DeepSeek are racing ahead with in-house solutions. So what does this all mean? First, it exposes a huge vulnerability in how export controls are enforced. Routing banned hardware through third countries, even friendly ones, creates gray areas ripe for exploitation. Second, it shows that China is catching up in the AI arms race, faster than expected. If companies like DeepSea can replicate GPT-level models using limited or banned hardware, it signals a new era of global AI competition. Fact, DeepSeek's models were benchmarked as among the top five globally, with training costs significantly lower than US counterparts. So, where do we go from here? Congress is likely to push for tighter export controls, including better tracking of where chips actually go. NVIDIA will have to walk a tightrope, balancing regulatory compliance with shareholder expectations and market access. China will likely double down on developing its own AI chip ecosystem, reducing dependency on US firms like NVIDIA. Also, 
expect more scrutiny on third-party resellers, shell companies, and routing through nations like Singapore, Malaysia, or even UAE. This NVIDIA story is more than just a tech or trade issue. It's about the future of global leadership in AI, and how much of it is decided in boardrooms, backrooms, and border checkpoints. If the US wants to stay ahead in the AI race, it'll need more than just sanctions. It'll need strategy, innovation, and partnerships that work. And for companies like NVIDIA, the stakes have never been higher. What do you think? Should NVIDIA be allowed to keep selling to China under special terms? Are export bans effective, or do they just push rivals to innovate faster? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We're reading them all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss our next deep dive into tech, policy, and the global AI race.